for the ride. Feeling like the mafia when we go mob. I be with some that be really outside. I'm out the driver's seat and let them go. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with Andrew Benatendi steps up. Here comes a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Ruiz going back, back some more, pulls it in on the warning track. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That one down the line. Nice, efficient oh. start to the afternoon. That's two out. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the center fielder, Luis Robert. Oh, wow, nice play. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the play, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. The wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Sees. He has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Next one misses, and that is one ball. ball one. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer <laughs> leash, and because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Ground ball right side. In time to Vaughn. One up, one down. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. Towards first. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. He's safe. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. One gone runner at first. And let Miss Diaz now. That one fouled off. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? He's showing, he's I think showing. runner on the go. Fought off foul. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Ball misses. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Good steal a second right there. And now the table is set for the middle of this order to drive in the first run of this ball game. I like that they're trying to manufacture some offense early on. Just off the inside corner. And the count is two and two. Runner at second here. One gone. And there's the ball. And a payoff pitch. Into center and a base hit. Ruiz headed for the plate. He scores, and it's 1-0. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Man at first with one gone. Digging in for Oakland, Brent Rooker. And yeah, that's outside. Next offering is in for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Swing and a miss, one and two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Righty delivers, gets a piece, and stays alive. This is 
it's a strikeout. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Next pitch misses way outside. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Diaz off of first with two away. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And here it comes. And he walked him. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. And now Connor Capel in the first pitch misses for ball one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. First and second, two down. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Back here in the East Bay. New inning getting started. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Gavin Sheets. That one lifted to left. One away. Andrew Vaughn now. The first baseman, number 25. Andrew Vaughn. That's a strike. This one smoked out to left. Ruiz makes the catch. Two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. Hey. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. In the air to left, down the line. Ruiz turns to the right on the move. Makes the play, and it's out. Bottom of the second. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. Cease. Back to work. There's a strike. Ooh, oh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Pitch misses. Ball one. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. And next is the designated hitter, Clark Elliott. Wings through that. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. That's inside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. That misses the zone. Now two and two. It's a good take. Two two now. To the right side. Rodgers throws the first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. And now it's Mark Vientos. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. 
Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking. Side. Tosses to first. And that is the inning. Out of the third inning, Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. That clips the corner. Malley, in his seventh season, he features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a cutter, and he works in a slider. Hammer down the right side, but foul. 0-2 now. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Right through there. Got it. One gone here. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Two away. Here is Moncada. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Moncada, 28 years old, and he was born in Cuba. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the Set for the bottom of the third. Isaiah Kiner falefa up to the plate. Cease back to work. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two now. Out towards left center. And Benintendi able to make the grab. That takes care of Connor Falefa. And there's one down. Este Yuri Ruiz digs in now. Reached on an infield single his first time. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Foul ball. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. The right-hander back to work. That clips the corner. Ben Intendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. And the right hander deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Luis Robert now. Could be extra bases. Heading for the plate. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 1-1. And the throws offline, safe at third. And next to hit for the Sox, Gavin Sheets. Oh, Check swing, no appeal. 1-0. and oh. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. Not in time, and that'll score a run. 
His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. The throw to third. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Diving, and he can't make the play. One runs in. Around third. He scores as well, and they're up by three. Nicely done. Brings home two. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Ruiz going back on this one. And there's two away. Sebi Zavala now at the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Rooker settles underneath it, brings it in for the third out. Back in Oakland, bottom four, and now the center fielder, Brent Rooker. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. High throw to first, and he can't reach it. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Soderstrom looking for his first big league hit right here. That one missed. You know, these athletics do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. No outs, runner on second. Next pitch misses, two and one. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And now it's even up. Kicks and deals. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Rooker leads off second with nobody out. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Right-hander kicks, deals. And ball four to a board. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Capel takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. And that one hit to first. Fires to second for one. Over to first, safe. Well, Boog, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Strike one. Center field. Robert moves under it. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. And what a stroke of luck. He scores on a botched squeeze play. It's 4-2. Now the A's designated hitter, Clark Elliott. Swing and a ground ball out to short. They get the force. And the inning is. We go to the top of the fifth, stepping in, Yoan Moncada. First pitch, and he just misses. You know, these White Sox doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Now the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. 
and it gets by him. Moncada, round second on his way to third. The run scores all the way from first. It's 5-2. That's a ball that a lot... And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Mark Vientos. And that's a little bit high. Ball one, no strike. The one one. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. In the dirt. Zavala down to first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. To the batter now, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. And first offering is fouled off. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. Ball. The next pitch misses, and the count one and two. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Next up for the A's, Este Yuri Ruiz. One for two. Got him to chase one above the zone there. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. The 0-2. Out to short, Escobar. That ends the frame. Nothing doing. Welcome back, top six. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Eduardo. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Here's the shortstop at the play, Oledmis Diaz. And that is cut on and missed. Going one. Final score in this one, 11 to 4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB, the